Final Fantasy Rebirth isn't out yet, but fans are already ups, uh, obsessing over Tifa. She's trending. I'm not going to read this article too much, but I'm going to go down a little bit. Let's see. The internet has already grown obsessed over it with the with this from the uh, ex Twitter user Genki Japan having clocked at 1.6 million views by itself. All right, are you ready? So if I'm going to give you context, um, this is basically after you leave Junon Harbor on a boat, and then you go to Coastal del Sol. Coastal del Sol is a warm beach area. And in the original, you aren't really there for that long, but you do see Hojo on the beach. You're like, what the fuck? The evil scientist from Midgar is here? That's sort of weird. But in this game, they expanded on it. And they gave everyone... I'm not sure Barrett. I saw Barrett in a, in a pirate costume. Not, not pirate, a sailor costume. But I guess people are um, getting their own, uh, you know, summer attire. So let's, let's see this video. The summer attire wasn't... This wasn't in the OG. Their attires weren't in the OG. No. Oh, that, that's awesome. There yeah. are there is no attire in the OG at all. Nice. There's something for the girls it, too, all right? There's it, something for the gay boys it, and the girls. Look at it, look at how it, fucking it, jacked it. he is. You, he's you, looking you, down. You he's looking. Look at, yeah, he's looking down. He's look, <laughs> looking down. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so here's the thing. Now, if you if you are a gay boy. Or you are a, a, a straight female, there's something for the girls too, all right? Like, look, like he's not jacked, he's not fucking ripped or anything like that, but he's like, he's he's like shredded. Like, he's, he's pretty athletic, right? All right, here it is. Let's continue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's like, oh, 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 <laughs> Wait, hold up. Uh, Whoever, whoever's marketing right now at Square Enix, he, he, deserves, he deserves a race. It's very yep. smart to release this so near release date. <laughs> yeah. And then. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh man. Gray? Gotta I know that you're not. I, yeah. I gotta get it through the remake soon. <laughs> <laughs> why is why the fuck is Barrett in the sailor outfit? Now here's the thing. For context and for lore, for people who have never played Final Fantasy VII, when you board the Junon Harbor, uh, we go to Junon Harbor and you board the ship. Um, you take the ship from Junon Harbor to Costa del Sol. But the thing is that they know how you look like. Right? Because you're a wanted uh, avalanche uh, eco-terrorist people. So they know how you look like. And they, um, when we played it, um, they're actually looking for um, Aerith. Everyone is $100,000. Aerith is $500,000 because he's an ancient. So she's the last, last living ancient. And they need her back in order for her to go to the promised land in order to get all the materia and shit like that, right? So what happened is when you board the ship, you're like, we need to look for disguise in the original one. So you basically, um, you disguise yourself as sailors. That's basically it. Yeah, we are no oh, longer oh, on spoilers. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah, sorry. sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I, I kind of realized no. it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Like yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. But yeah, um, it's... uh. Yeah, T yeah, 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 Barrett straight up adorable. Look at yeah, look at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah look at <laughs> look at, look at <laughs> oh. yeah, people are people are actually mad about this though. Did you know that? Oh, of course, of course they are. <laughs> I, I imagine people are baby, legit mad. Sweet baby called the present. What the fuck is this? Sweet what baby. What the hell is happening? Yeah. So now, now here's the thing. So here's another one coming from uh, Learning the Law on uh, X. And it says, the cope with Tifa is insane. Hyper male gazeness. <laughs> All right, let's see what this person is saying. Uh, damn, you must be, you must hate going to the beach with others, huh? Also, Fran, laugh out loud. Yes, exactly. It's the fact that a woman has boobs that annoys me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I, when I hate biology. <laughs> are they not supposed to have one 
<laughs> oh my god. Not the tone, the intention, tasteless, hyper, male gazeness, and info, uh, infantilization of said woman, which is nothing new for the Tifa archetype, but come on. So Tifa archetype is cute girls with big boobs? Uh, oh, it's really her, okay. That's really a Tifa to begin with. It's just that the ethics department is making an issue out of it. Oh my right? god. Yeah, Tifa is less of a character in Final Fantasy VII Remake than the OG because of this crap like this. Edit. Yes, uh, Tifa was already problematic in the OG. At least that is confi uh, confined in the, the FMV. Um, okay. But the thing is that there's a... They're, they're just mad, man. Yeah. Like I feel like they, I feel like they just, they're just mad. It's because uh, we're. It looks like we're winning. It looks like we are legit. Yeah, winning. yeah, we we are right, right. We we talked about this last week or two weeks ago, where we talked about the blue. Did we talk about it? The Bloomberg article where uh, Japan investors are pulling off of the ESG. They're putting their investments elsewhere. That that is a huge win. It's like if institutionally these big hedge fund decision makers are pulling their money and putting it elsewhere. Yeah, you, you can expect the ESG to die down pretty quickly because there's no yep. money in it anymore. Yep. Now, he, here's one over here that says, this is from Pure PlayStation. It says, PlayStation exclusives are healing the world with these queens, Tifa and Eve. Yep. Man, Japan and Korea. Yeah. Now, if we go back over here, it says, uh, this is from uh, Colonel Otaku Gatekeeper. It says, when Kel, uh, Kez uh, Hirai stepped down as CEO of PlayStation in 2018 and was uh -huh. replaced with Jim Ryan within a few months, Sexy Woman was banned on place on Sony PlayStation. Now that Jim Ryan is gone, a Japanese CEO, Hiroki Totoki, has now taken over and appears the ban on Sexy Woman has been lifted. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you, Jim Ryan. You never were good for Sony. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> you never were good for Sony. <laughs> oh shit, man! See, this is what they want. We showed this before. This is from Grums on on Twitter X. <laughs> we showed this before, <laughs> right? When triple A, when Western triple A version is right on the right is a conscious choice. This is not accidental. We have talented artists who are censored. Yep, this is Aerith. <laughs> This is an error. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. But wait, there's more. This is also from Learning the Law. Square Enix Japan's website has erased complete, uh, completely their section of ESG. It, is this true? It, yeah, Lost Tales brought it up in our Discord uh, yesterday or a few days ago. When yeah. If you check the website, it's back there, but it's in the final section. It's, a, it's in the see. very low. But right, let me let like, me let me pull it pull it up. I'll do it live. Okay, yeah, yeah. Pull, pull it up. Pull. It's at the final section. I I read it. I read it. And, um, I checked their website. It's 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 back there again. But for me, it's more of like for compliance sake. But they're not gonna go big on it for, on their video games moving forward. It's just it's just there for regulatory sake, or for regulatory sake, or so that they won't get into any legal cases. But that that's about it. In my in my opinion, that's about it. All right, if you can scroll you, down at the can you can you point it to me? It's the very uh, bottom. Is so it this one? Me, Am I okay, on the wait, right site? Let me open is this. Square Enix, is this squareenix.com? This is Square Enix Games. That's why. Uh, wait, let me go back to the tweet. Oh, it's lost tales. Where is it? Where is it? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, send, send it in the, in, in, in the private chat. Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll look for it. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, so over here it says, uh, the only remaining file on the internet is an old PDF. I I've sent it. Then we can just scroll to the bottom. Okay. That that that's about it. That that's all there is. <clears throat> yeah, a little so, bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit there. Here, that, that's that's the, the, uh, equity and inclusion. Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. That's all that's left. Oh, I see. So this yeah, this is and, the corporate one. Corporate uh corporate web uh, website looks like. Yeah. So. So it looks like it is still there, but like, uh, yeah, like, please double check if you see if you have any doubts. So, but the thing is, there are people who are already coming out and saying that this game is, um, is actually, isn't, you know, is, isn't as, uh, you know, based as you thought. 
right? Because this comes, this is from the gamer. Yeah. Ray, can you can you read the headline for me? Final Fantasy VII is gaming's greatest lesbian scavenger hunt. <laughs> Not after that beach scene, huh? Not after that. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, Queerness is folded into the world of rebirth with a surprising amount of grace. All right, let's see. Square Enix had a clear intention to improve upon it, this in rebirth in subtle yet styles, right? Uh, oh, ways to vote beautifully. Now, here's the thing there are LGBTQ representat uh, representation in Remake. Uh, Andrea Rodea is one of them, and Julian from the uh, the fucking um, the uh, the, the, the workout area, the, 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 the gym location in Walmart is one of them. And there might be a couple others. I'm not sure. Um, I think Roch sort of has a, a weird gayness with cloud. He's like, we're going to pull into the red line together. Our tips are going to be touching. Our swords are going to be clashing. It's just like, he sounds very <laughs> gay, but, uh, but yeah. So, uh, while final fantasy, final fantasy 16 has a heartfelt yet underutilized gay romance. Thanks to Dion. Uh, Lessage and Sir Terrence, it never felt like it took representation far enough. What are you talking about? That's how you're supposed to write gay characters. It should be subtle. Let's see. Uh, throughout my 60 hour uh, plus review playthrough, I would take uh, make a point to slowly walk around each new town and settlement, taking in unfolding conversations between people who are simply uh, going about their everyday lives. While Cloud and company are trying to save the world, the majority of the citizens you stumble across are all trying to make ends meet, constantly worrying about the capitalist overlords staring down at them. <laughs> well, my, you know, Shinra, it, it, they, they, they're, they, you know, they're killing the planet. Uh, they'd have to exist within their own confines of systems they can't control. So why not try to grasp onto the semblance of happiness while we still can? So according to what I heard, there's these there's a gay couple in a uh, calm. And they're just like talking. Yo, what's going on, Hypnotic? How's it going, dude? How's it going, man? Hope you're doing well, dude. Hope you're doing well. But yeah, Gray. Like, I'm not saying that this this is this doesn't belong in the game, but I guarantee you this was put into the game because of DEI ESG bullshit. Yeah. How do you feel, man? Uh, I, my thoughts are this decision was done way a couple of years ago, back when DEI was still at its prime. But now that it's kind of dying off, I imagine it will be less, at the very least, less of it by, by the third game. Because at that point, like Jim Ryan's out, uh, ESG money pulling out, so... They'll probably tone it down a little bit or just make it less prominent co compared to what it is now. I, because, like, the Japanese know where the money is. They're beginning to see where, like, no, ESG's not working. We, we got to go back to our old ways and cater to our actual fans who have the money. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a small, subtle thing. It's, it's not a game breaker, but, yeah, this article is making it sounds like it's a big deal when it's not. I remember I read a, I read like a byline or a headline from the gamer as well. It says that ah, it's like forget Cloud and Zach Tifa, look at Aerith. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> man, these people clearly do not respect the the writers and the creators of these IP, and they just want to fucking put their own shit into the game. Where it's yeah. long in the game. And I know that the game is having really, really good reviews. I believe IGN gave it like a nine Yeah, I, I saw something. it. It's like, yeah, it's like, I don't know. After seeing that Tifa scene, man, I, I, maybe I should get in already. <laughs> yep. Yep. Basically, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm waiting for the trilogy to finish. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man! <laughs> oh man, it's 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 so good, man. I I love the internet. Now, yeah. <clears throat> one thing I do want to show that uh, that I this is in the game. I guarantee this is in the game. There's no audio, but chat room. Take a close look 
so so there is an exercise thing where um if if you beat their uh, best um you know athletic person you get like a really really cool point um we do know that tifa is uh she has fucking crazy ass abs take a look at the jiggle physics we're back boys <laughs> we're back <laughs> I'll, I'll i'll leave i'll play this in the loop i'll play this in the loop we are back boys yeah this is actual in-game footage right I, I'm this is game. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Th th I'm pretty th sure. Th this is this is a little bit of a spoiler, uh, for me as well. But I the, the fact that you're gonna be doing this on the beach, but this is not story st story spoilers. But man, enhance. Yeah, I, I can. I, I'm, I'm. Can I even zoom in on videos? No, it doesn't let that, me. That, that's half of the physics in the game right there. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Tifa's tits have uh thirty thousand pixels per per breast. <laughs> oh man yeah we're so back boys it is what it is chat room so um yeah this game is gonna sell a lot yeah for sure i mean square <laughs> enix needs a, needs a win right now in my opinion so oh maybe, maybe i should get in already i should <laughs> get in the first game someone, the integrate then someone the has, in the chat says make it go fast <laughs> but I, I need to see the jiggle in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, chat room, there it is. There it is. Yeah, we need more, man. We need more. This this game is gonna sell. This game this game's gonna sell a lot. You know what? Yeah. I know what everyone knows it. Yeah, true, mm -hmm. true, true. <clears throat> but yeah, man. Um, Gray, um, yeah, you probably need to get in, <laughs> into into Final <laughs> Fantasy <laughs> now. <laughs> I, I, I I gotta search. There's, there's a bundle, right, with Intergrade and the remake. I'll probably grab that. Yes, yes, there is. <laughs> if I'm jumping, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. I'll look into it. But, but yeah, definitely this and Stellar Blade. <laughs> We've talked about Stellar Blade way too much to not cover Stellar Blade. 